Cast with Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. Dave, how is it looking overnight? Pretty quiet out there. Some cloud cover now initially, kind of partly cloudy overnight, a little bit on the muggy side as well, too, as we're still going to be dealing with a few storms possible Monday and Tuesday. If you get the rain, consider yourself lucky. I'll be watching two possible systems in the Gulf of Mexico this week, two tropical possible systems out there. Little to no development with one of them, but the other one may develop and kind of work its way away from us, which would be good. But again, the rain and storms are something we'll have to keep an eye on as well, too. Right now, downtown, uh, again, partly cloudy, not looking bad from our BJC see camera 82 degrees out there 2.68 it is a little bit muggy with those southerly winds we're at 78 from Tuscaloosa to Alabaster 80 up there for you in Hamilton how about Gadsden at 84 down in Clanton there at 76 degrees was down there yesterday at Peach Park enjoying the nice weather out there but who it was hot but you know what they have some good peach ice cream down there that helped out with that heat uh, it does feel like only 77 there we feel like 84 in town Asheville you're around 86 88 though from Coleman and into the Gadsden this hour so a little toasty, but the rain we had earlier, especially the storms in Utah and Greensboro, you got some good uh, much needed rain out there today. That has now since dissipated, which is good news. Just left over some cloud cover here. We'll see these high clouds continuing to kind of work their way across central Alabama throughout the rest of the evening hours here. But if you notice those clouds, they stretch all the way down here to the Bay of Campeche or southern part of the Gulf of Mexico. That's where we have an area of low pressure expected to form that could become maybe a tropical depression as we headed to the middle part of the week, though. And the Hurricane Center is giving that area a high chance for development there in a tropical depression, possibly a tropical storm. It's likely going to be dealing with a lot of wind shear, but it's all part of the Central American gyre. There's big spin. There's a big circulation here, and amongst that, you have a little disturbance out here in the central part of the Caribbean. Also, another one here trying to emerge its way into the Bay of Campeche, and we'll be watching those. So this is going to be a big rainmaker for uh, the Cancun area all the way to southern Mexico. The track on this will take it into northern Mexico, maybe southern Texas, but additional moisture from it will stream up our way, and that's get some rain for the beginning part of the week. Then we're going to watch another system trying to develop here, work its way across the Bahamas, cross Florida into the Gulf later this week. Low chance of development with this one, but something to keep an eye on. It is hurricane season after all. So you can see the tropics, rather the rain chance will be going around 30% there from Monday down to 20% Tuesday. The back up a little bit as we head into the weekend, maybe by next Sunday, a little bit of some rain. So for tomorrow, the morning weather pretty quiet. We'll see that chance of a few storms in the afternoon getting to 93 degrees. And you'll see how it plays out. Maybe a couple sprinkles out there tonight and tomorrow morning. Maybe a few as well as you head out the door to work and then get the kids to camp. And then as we go through the afternoon, uh, basically west of I-65, that's the best chance of seeing those showers and thunderstorms from lunchtime to the afternoon. Some of the rain could get heavy with some gusty winds and a lot of lightning, so keep that in mind. They'll dissipate, though, by the evening hours and then overnight into Tuesday. It looks like just some cloud cover, maybe a stray shower too, possibly across the area on Tuesday with more of that easterly flow. Drier air is building in from the west, and that's really going to limit the amount of rain we'll see the rest of the week. So for the MLB game at Rickwood Field on Thursday, first pitch at 624, the San Francisco Giants and St. Louis Cardinals. Looks pretty toasty to start the game, but not too bad by the end of the game with some clouds the way things look right now. So tomorrow, 93 degrees. Keep the umbrella with you. 91 Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 92 degrees. So anything going on on Juneteenth, Wednesday, looking pretty hot outside before rain returns this upcoming weekend. Sydney.